Two more word problems to look at, both involving density. One of them uses definition of density, and the other is just really a unit conversion problem. The first one, density of iron is 7.86 grams per cubic centimeter. How many cubic centimeters would 52.43 grams of iron occupy? So what's our wanted? We're wanting cubic centimeters. So we're actually looking for volume. Our data is that density of iron, and iron, by the way, has an atomic symbol of Fe, something that you'll need to memorize at some point, but not today. Density is 7.86 grams per cubic centimeter. And then we got 52.43 grams as our volume. So we've got this equivalence that we need to make. 7.86 grams is equal to 1 cubic centimeter. So 52.43 will be our given. So 52.43 grams. We want grams to cancel. So grams needs to go in the denominator, 7.86. That's the same as 1 cubic centimeter. We get our calculator out. 52.43 divided by 7.86 gives me 6.670 cubic centimeters. Got the right unit. I've got an answer that makes somewhat sense. It's not a huge number like a gazillion or a very small number like 0 .00 something. But I gotta have the right number of sig figs. My mass has four sig figs. Mass has four sig figs. My density, which is a measured quantity, has three sig figs. So my answer can only have three significant figures. So 6.67 cubic centimeters. There's another way to abort this problem. Density is defined as mass per volume. And we were trying to find volume. So we could have used some algebra and cross multiplied, in which case volume comes over the other side, will equal mass divided by density. And that's in essence what we did when we did our um, word problem method of wanted data solve. So either way will work out fine. The advantage of this three-step approach is if you've forgotten the formula, you can still wind up with the right answer by using your units correctly. The next problem, the density of mercury is 13.69 grams per cubic centimeter. Convert the density to kilograms per meter cubed. Kilograms per meter cubed is what we're after. Our data is 13.69 grams per cubic centimeter. So we're doing some conversions here within the SI system. So we want to go from grams to kilograms. We want to go from cubic centimeters to meters cubed. And so we need some equivalences. So grams, kilo means a thousand, so a thousand grams equals one kilogram. That's one equivalence. And the other thing we need are cubic centimeters to meters cubed. Well, before we do that, now follow this closely because you can get lost in this part. Centa is an SI prefix meaning 10 to the minus 2. So to make an equivalence there, We're going to put 10 to the minus 2 on the side with the meters. But, and this is 
really important. What we're going to have to do is cube that. So I'm going to pull that meter, that unit outside, but we've got to cube that 10 to the minus 2. So if we do our exponents, when you multiply exponents, 1 cubic centimeter is going to equal 10 to the minus 6 cubic meter, or 1 one millionth of a cubic meter. Don't let that be hocus pocus for you. You may need to stop the video and think about this for a moment, but um, that's what we need to do here. We need to cube that 10 to the minus 2 also. So, well, let's work our problem. We've got 13... Point six nine grams per cubic centimeter. We want grams to cancel and wind up with kilograms. Kilo is a SI prefix meaning a thousand. So now our grams cancel. So we got kilograms. And this may make this seem a, a little bit better if we do it, this conversion. We want centimeters cubed in the numerator, meters cubed in the denominator. And so let's put that cube outside. That will cube everything on the inside. Centi is an SI prefix meaning 10 to the minus 2. So now we can plug everything in the calculator, 13.69 divided by 1,000 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 6, and that will give me 1.369 times 10 to the 4th. And now my centimeters cubed divided by centimeters cubed, that gives me kilograms over meters cubed. Make sure that you cube your meters there. I start out with four sig figs. Both of these are definitions, so they don't affect the number of sig figs. So I need to wind up with four sig figs. Got the right units, kilograms per cubic meter, and does my answer make sense? Like we're talking about grams in a cubic centimeter, and now I'm talking about kilograms in a cubic meter. So cubic meter is a whole lot bigger, and even though kilograms is a larger unit than grams, this number probably makes sense. Um, and so we're going to say that it does and go forward from there.